Hey everyone, Pupsker here, and today in Warframe, we're taking a look at the new website, the Operator Report website for Warframe. I believe this is a cool Warframe Whispers in the Wall 1999 styled old Warframe, or I should say old age styled computer lore dump. It's also just, you know, a website. So this leads to cross platform. This leads to Opera Report error. So if you click that, <gasps> A big error comes out and I think you can probably somewhat decipher that but you know and everything else leads to something else so this is the returning player guide this is whispers in the walls this is news operator report error oh I wonder what that leads to I actually do want to take a look at that oh that's just like a big operator report and then everything else leads to Warframe download, forums, and then this shuts off the web page. So let's take a look at the Warframe lore today on the Operator Report website. And again, it's just warframe.com slash news slash operator report if you want to go look at this yourself. And if you want to support the channel, you can sub, like, join the YouTube membership, or subscribe on Twitch, and also use Epic Games Creator Code Pupsker. So anything helps. So thank you. Let's take a look at the redacted and, of course, this is your time. If you don't want any sort of spoilers, probably best to leave. Let's take a look. Spoiler warning. These files reveal details of events before and during the game. Tread carefully, Tenno. So we are going to go in order of Operator to Kalimos. If you know what's going on, you know what's going on. This should reveal some extra tidbits of lore. The Operator. The laboratories are sealed. Our task, watch for the chosen Operator. Known data. The Operator is Ateno. Ateno was a specialist warrior in service to the Orkin, the masters of the origin system. The Tenno piloted Warframe, suits of sophisticated battle armor. They fought alongside the Dax augmented human warriors, who were more numerous and less effective than the Tenno. Tenno existed to battle the sentience, evolving machines hostile to the Orkin and their way of life. Complications. Orkin Empire fell, only artifacts remain. The war with the sentience, the old war, is long over. No Tenno have been seen for generations. Conclu Conclusion, watch, wait, report. So that's kind of how the little lore dumps go, right? There's nothing to scroll, just that. Next up, we have Lotus. So, Lotus text. A suitable Tenno candidate has been found, the Lotus. The reawakened Tenno is being guided by the Lotus, the same entity who led the Tenno of the end of the Old War. The Lotus is known to be a former sentient, previously named Nata. She was captured and converted to her current state during the Old War by Executor Ballas, a high-ranking Orokin. Ex Executor Ballas is theorized to have modeled the appearance and persona of the Lotus upon his deceased lover, Margulis. Okay? And arc median scientist executed for her devotion to the Tenno. Yeah, very unfortunate. Lotus appears to just be devoted to the Tenno as Margulis was, and she has not, however, divulged the secret of her sentient origin to them. <gasps> -na -na. Continuing to monitor. So as you can kind of tell, this goes through the general Warframe story start to finish of the quests and just information, knowledge, lore, etc. So we continue on with conflict. The conflict. Tenno Candidate has engaged with several hostile forces. The Grenier degraded descendants of the cloned worker force that has once served the Orokin. They are brutal combatants concerned only with the amassing of power and territory. Left unchecked, they slaughter, enslave, and plunder civilians. The Corpus are a merchant cult devoted to profit. They make extensive use of robotics. They exploit civilians economically and violently protect their investments. The infestation is a biomechanical plague, apparently controlled by one or more hive minds. Oh, corrupts organic mechanical targets, converting them into mutated servants. Continuing to monitor. Now for the Void. The Tenno has discovered abandoned organ towers within the Void. Oh no, these towers were intended to act as sanctuaries from sentient attacks during the Old War, since the Void is intensely damaged in two sentients. Nice. Supplementary info, much of Oregon society was dependent upon the Void. It was used as a shortcut through space and as a source of energy. Its full potential was first theorized by Albrecht and Trotty within these very laboratories, and we're going to get that lore soon. It is Albrecht and Trotty who this device serves. It is Albrecht and Trotty who has instructed us to locate Chosen Operator. Significant development. Tenno has encountered the Entrotti family on Deimos. Family remains unaware of the existence of these laboratories, 
case, Necroloid is an exception. Its memory is, however, suppressed until activation of the Calamo sequence, continuing to monitor. Okay, we do kind of know that if uh, you know the lore and have been paying attention, but this is a good way to actually just straight up get a reminder and tell us, so nice. Let's go on to Hanau. Hunhao, significant development. The Tenno subject has learned of the Lotus sentient nature, including her original name, Nata. A Dax Teshin has presented himself as a rival mentor, claiming that the Lotus cannot be trusted. The Tenno has encountered Nata's father, the sentient war leader, Hunhao, whose remains lie beneath the oceans of Uranus. Hunhao has expected Nata to destroy the Tenno in accordance with her original mandate. The Lotus continues to reject, uh, reject her sentient nature and seems concerned to retain the Tenno's trust. Good Lady Nata, so nice of her. We continue to monitor. Now we go on to Stalker. The Stalker. Since awakening, the Tenno has pursued the Stalker. Appearance and combat capabilities suggest the Stalker is a surviving Low Guardian, a former protector of the Orican. Evidence implies that the Orican Empire fell at the hands of Tenno themselves. Stalker motives may therefore be revenge. Significant development. Hun Hao and the Stalker are working together. Stalker has been sent to find the Reservoir, a place believed to conceal the Tenno's grave secrets, which could be used to destroy them all at a stroke. The Tenno has set off in pursuit, aided by the Corpus Techno Technocrat Alid V. There, nailed it. Significant development. Reservoir has been located, is on the moon, Lua. Previously believed destroyed, but is fact concealed within the void. Continue to monitor. Whoa. Now we're on to Zeramin. The Zeramin, significant development. Tenno has discovered the truth of their identity. They are a human child, once of many kept within the cryopods on Lua's reservoir, okay? These children were passengers of the Zeramin 10-0, the colony ship bound for Tau and lost the void. When recovered, they were found to have developed parahuman abilities. Despite Margulis' protest, they were placed into a state of lucid dreaming and used as a Warframe pilot. Huzzah! Continuing to monitor. Let's go, Zeramin, let's go! Clap, clap! Queens! The Queens! The Tenno has encountered the Grenier Queens, the semi-mythical leaders of the Grenier. The Elder Queen, aged in disease, has planned to transfer her mind into the Tenno's young body. This process, continuity, was common among the Orican elites and used to extend their lifespan indefinitely. Yeah, you pretty much just body hop, too OP. Tesh and Dax helped the Tenno to resist the Elder Queen, who has now been eliminated. Only the younger Worm Queen remains. The Tenno has recovered much of their lost training. Suitability to fulfill the role of the Chosen Operator has exponentially increased. <gasps> Continuing to monitor. And we are going to be chosen for the Calamo sequence at the end, of course, as a suitable candidate. Of course, right? The Sentinel. The Tenno has been made aware of Rel, a fellow Tenno who is outcast by his peers. Oh no. Rel has voluntarily assumed the duty of keeping the origin system safe from a void-based entity referred to as the Man in the Wall. With Rel's death, that responsibility is now transferred to the Tenno. Critical development. Shit. The Man in the Wall is identical with the entity known to us as the Indifference. Albert Contrati is ultimately responsible for attracting his attention to the origin system. Spooky. Albert Contrati may be ultimately responsible for its existence. Parameter confirmed. The Tenno is the chosen operator. We await the correct moment to activate the Kelimo sequence. Okay, so they're just gonna give it and tell you like right there like, hey, we're, we're doing it like right now. It's happening. Gotcha. Continue to monitor. <laughs> Now we're up to Ballas. <gasps> da da da. Ballas. Executor Ballas is known to have colluded with Hunhao during the Old War in an attempt to betray the Tenno to the sentience. Executor Ballas is known to have survived the co collapse of the Orkin Empire. Significant sentient forces are known to have amassed undetected at the periphery of the origin system during the span of time since the Old War. Executor Ballas has now manipulated the Lotus for his own ends, compelling her to resume her sentient identity. Nita in order to use her as a proxy commander of sentient forces. So this is like the uh, the new war quest and all that, right? Ballas has, after significant development, Ballas has led the sentients in a renewed attack on the origin system. Era, brother of Nita, is acting as a joint commander. The factions of the origin system have formed an alliance against his common foe. Another development. Tenno's personal timeline is disrupted. Known, uh, knowing he cannot kill the Tenno, Ballas opted to imprison them within his own history. The Tenno would be unable to escape his loop without the paradoxical intervention of an outside force. Continue to monitor. And then the Duveri Paradox. Drifter. 
Okay. The Drifter. The Zeriman Vessel. Adrift for an unknown time within the Void. Now acts as a containment field for an unrealized possibilities. One such possibility is an alternative version of the Tenno. Yep, and we know it is true. The individual escaped into the void of their own initiative rather than being rescued and taken into the origin system as the Tenno were. Within the void, they established a realm, Duveri, in which to live. This individual, the Drifter, has now entered the origin system. Significant development. Ballas has established himself as the ruler of the origin system. Through his armor cult, all citizens have been forced to wear headpieces that distort Perceived reality, Ballas is thus able to dictate exactly what the wearer experiences. Lovely, nothing uh, nothing wrong there, all sounds happy-go-lucky for sure. Eric continues to act as Ballas Enforcer, using composite creatures called Archons as muscle. Oh no, yeah, so that's, you know, the new war, uh, the Narmor cult. Significant development, still on Fortuna. With the assistance of Hunhound Stalker, Drifters fought back against Balance, destroying the Archons. Yay! Tenno has been freed from their recursive timeline and now coexists with the Drifter. Good. Significant development. Ballas is dead. The Lotus, now free from Ballas's conditioning, has chosen a preferred primary name and form. Continue to monitor. So yeah, that's like all up to the New War completion, Duveri completion, it looks like. So good stuff there. Good stuff there. Not really mad, of course. And finally, Calamos. This is going to be, I think, more spoilery and be like, ooh, new stuff. The Calamos sequence. Critical development. In a deranged attempt to transport himself and his cult to Tau, Ballas opened portals between the Void and conventional reality on an unprecedented scale. This has attracted the attention of the Indifference Man in the Wall, the, whose freedom of action appears to have drastically increased. The, posed, uh, the threat posed by the Indifference is now at critical level. The laboratories have come under fresh assault from the Murmur. Unless the Sleeper is awoken, Albrecht and Trotty's legacy will perish. Conclusion. Contacting the Necroloid. Activating the Kelimo sequence. Awaiting the Chosen Operator. So this is going to be and is like the lore and start to the Whispers in the Wall quest and stuff. So that is all of the general Warframe Whispers in the Wall lore leading up to everything. So yeah, they got together this cute little website, big nice lore dump of information, C Drive Redacted. <gasps> So if you want to check it out, go for it. Again, that is warframe.com slash operator, or sorry, slash news slash operator dash report. So all things considered, it's a pretty cool website and I think it's cute. So that is uh, what's going on there. If people have, and they probably have already, like discovered and fully deciphered this little news thing here or error thing here. So yeah, go check that out if you want. But all things considered, I'm pretty happy. This next Whispers in the Walls update looks to be honestly amazing. So 10 out of 10 would recommend. And again, thank you all for being here. If you want to support the channel, you can like the YouTube video comment down below join any of the social medias you can join the youtube membership or twitch sub if you want to support the channel financially or use epic games creator code pupsker if you ever buy anything on the epic game store pick up a free game buy fortnite skins etc it all helps at the end of the day so i do appreciate it thank you thank you and i will see everybody next time for some more warframe lore beginner guide news who knows cheers